Let me begin by saying I love Robert Duvall as an actor. He is my favorite Hollywood star ever. Until recently, I didn't realize how old he is, 89 years old as of the making of this video. I am making the video as a tribute to Mr. Duvall and his incredible acting career. Robert Selden Duvall was born on January 5, 1931 in San Diego, California to Mildred Virginia and William Howard Duvall, a U.S. Navy Admiral. He grew up primarily in the Annapolis, Maryland area due to his father's Navy career. He served a brief one-year stint in the U.S. Army in 1953 and 1954. Starting in 1955, Robert studied acting at the Neighborhood Playhouse School in New York City for two years. During those two years, he counted as his classmates Dustin Hoffman, Gene Hackman, and James Kahn, and actually shared an apartment with both Hoffman and Hackman. During the 50s, 60s, and 70s, Duvall appeared in numerous Broadway plays, off-Broadway plays, and television programs. He had his screen debut in 1962 in To Kill a Mockingbird in mid-sized roles in several films in the 60s. The 1970s brought about more important roles for Duvall, including an appearance as Major Frank Burns in the film M.A.S.H. He received critical acclaim for his role as Tom Hagen in The Godfather and The Godfather Part II, earning him a Best Supporting Actor nomination. Duvall received several awards for his portrayal of Lieutenant Colonel Kilgore in 1979 in the Vietnam War film Apocalypse Now. His iconic line, I love the smell of napalm in the morning, was immortalized in that film. All role which spellbinds me even today is his portrayal of Augustus McRae in the TV miniseries Lonesome Dove. If there was ever a great role that was a perfect fit for a great actor in a blockbuster film, it is Robert Duvall playing Augustus McRae. Tommy Lee Jones also gave an incredible acting performance in Lonesome Dove. However, he was overshadowed by Duvall and his performance. The Lonesome Dove miniseries is based on a book by the same name written by Larry McMurtry and the screenplay was by recently deceased screenwriter Bill Whitliff. The film is known for its many classic lines. My two favorites go one each to Tommy Lee Jones and Robert Duvall. Captain Call's line occurs when he spots an army scout trying to steal one of his men's horse and whipping a couple of others including his son Newt. Woodrow proceeds to beat the scout to a pulp and then explain to the townspeople looking on, I hate rude behavior in a man. I won't tolerate it. I hate rude behavior in a man. I won't tolerate it. My favorite scene in Lonesome Dove occurs when Augustus and Woodrow are in San Antonio. They go to a bar and encounter a rude bartender. What happens next is classic, including Gus's line. What we didn't put up with back then was dawdling service, and as you can see, we still won't put up with it. You darn cowboys ought to broom yourselves off before you walk in here. You know, I'm saying we need without the customers bringing it in. That'll be a dollar. Now, besides the whiskey, I think we'll require a little respect. Now, I'm Captain Augustus McCray. This is Captain Woodrow F. Call. Now, if you care to turn around, you can see how we looked when we was younger and the people around here wanted to make us senators. Now the thing we didn't put up with then was dawdling service. And as you can see, we still don't put up with it. The 1990s and 2000s have continued 
a steady stream of film and TV work for the prolific actor. In 2015, at age 84, Robert became the oldest actor ever nominated for an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor for his role in the film The Judge. Duvall has been married four times. He met his fourth wife, Luciana Pedraza, in Argentina. She is 41 years younger than him, and they have been together since 1997. Robert Duvall has been a working actor for seven decades. His credits would fill up a book. I personally admire his work for its critical acclaim and most of all, its entertainment value. If you enjoyed this video, give a thumbs up, make a comment, and most of all, subscribe to the channel. As always, thanks for watching.